بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد very very important for us to know when our fasting is uh, breaks and this is some information regarding when a person's fast how to tell if someone's fast is broken from these principles you can you'll be able to answer a lot of questions about your fast and and if somebody else has a question about fasting you will have a very good idea because these three principles how many principles are there three, three principles good these three principles are related to when your fast breaks okay so the sheikh said لا يحكم بفساد الصوم من ارتكاب شيء من المفترات من المفترات إلا بشروط ثلاثة. He said that you do not judge or determine that a person's fast is broken uh, from from even taking something that breaks their fast, except with three conditions. Meaning that there are three conditions or three times. For us to be able to tell or three things that have to be in a place before we can determine if someone's fast is broken. Even if they ate or drank something. And we're going to bring you the evidence for this. The first thing is that the person has to have knowledge about the fasting. So the person has to have a knowledge about the hukum. If he doesn't know things break as fast or doesn't break as fast, maybe he's a new Muslim or what have you, he doesn't know. And he has to know the time that we fast. So a person who doesn't have knowledge at all about when the times for fasting is and uh, you know, for about the time and uh, about those rulings, because of their ignorance, they're excused, and their fasting is sahih. So if he eats because he thought, oh, I thought it was at 4 o'clock exactly. I didn't know about uh, that, that it was actually from the beginning of the sunrise and it's a calculated thing. I didn't know. I, I thought it was at 4 o'clock every morning because he, he's a new Muslim or whatever. He's ignorant of this. The person who's ignorant, he does not know at all. Then his fasting, even though he ate and the fasting time was in, it was time to fast, then his fast is sahih. His fast is still sahih, even though he ate. Okay? So the first thing is you have to have knowledge. And the evidence for this, listen to this. An ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu maqal, fa'anzal Allahu ta'ala. So here, the, this ayat in Surah Al-Baqarah, it came down. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وصاها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا So in Surah Al-Baqarah, and then after that, أي uh, uh, Ibn Abbas said, أي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قد فعلت So the, the meaning of that ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, He says, so we can get the most proper uh, tra translation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah burdens not a person beyond his scope. Meaning that you, uh, Allah doesn't make it difficult for you. More than you are able to bear. He gets reward for that good which he has earned and he is punished for that evil which he has earned. Our Lord punish us not if we forget or fall into error, our Lord lay not on us a burden like that which you did lay upon those before us, meaning the Jews and the Christians. Our Lord put not on us a burden greater than we have strength to bear. Pardon us and grant us forgiveness. Have mercy on us. You are our Mola, meaning you are our supporter, our Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there that lets us know that Allah doesn't put, he doesn't hold us account. And then Ibn Abbas, he said, uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قَدْ فَعَلْتْ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, you know, or uh, that Allah pardoned us, meaning that if you forget or you make a mistake regarding acts of ibadah 
you know, without, you know, not intentionally, but you, you, you make a mistake. For example, in this fasting, you eat when you eat, uh, if you eat while you're fasting by mistake, you, you forgot. Subhanallah, you ate, drank a little juice. Oh, subhanAllah, I forgot. Then you know your fast is still sahih. If someone asks you, he says, Abdurrahman, I, I ate a donut, man. I, I totally forgot. I forgot we were fasting. And it was, you know, it was 4.30 and we still had five hours to fast. I totally forgot. Is my fasting uh, okay or not? He ate it by mistake. Is his fasting okay? Mm -hmm. His fasting is okay. Why? Why is his fasting okay? Because he, he, he didn't do it on purpose. Allahu Akbar. Jazakallah khairan. No, he didn't do it on purpose. He forgot. So that is the mercy of Islam. And also we have evidence from the Sharia. And we'll just make it uh, simplified. We won't read the whole thing. So there's a, uh, one of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, I know his name is Adi ibn Abi Hatim. And when the ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَتَّى يَتَّبَيْنَ لَكُمُ الْخَيْتُ الْأَبِيَثِ مِنَ الْخَيْتُ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ الْفَجْرِ ثُمَّ أَتِمُّ الْصِيَامِ إِلَى اللَّيْلِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, which means, eat and drink until, uh, until the white thread is distinguished from the black thread, okay, from fajr, and then complete your fasting until the night. That's the general meaning of the ayah, that verse in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah. That's what it means. Ibn Abi Hatim, I believe it was him, or he was the narrator, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He, he, he knew this ayat, from, from, because they were there when the ayats were revealed, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, majma'in. He heard this ayat, he thought that it meant that he had to keep, because even in the Arabic it says khayt. Khayt means like a thread. You know, like a thread you have in your thobe, or something like this. Your thobe is made up of threads when you get something sewed. He thought that, that the khayt al-abiyath, min khayt al-aswad, he thought that that meant the white thread and the black thread. So what did he do, radiallahu ta'ala anhu? He, when he went to sleep, he put a thread under his pillow. I think he put a white and a black thread under his pillow, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. From his ijtihad, he didn't know. He, 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 he made a mistake, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and he still gets reward. The, and then he asked, so he went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then he didn't fast until, uh, uh, the, so then when the next day came, he went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he told him what he did. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, he said, verily, that is the white the thread of the day and the black of the night. So the ayat, even though the ayat, it just says, khayt al-aswad. And that's why we needed the tafsir, the sahaba. They made it clear for us by asking the question to the Prophet ﷺ. That's how a lot of tafsir, we got it. So the only way we know, because we don't know what it means, just khayt, uh, a black thread and a white thread, but we know now because the Prophet ﷺ explained it to him, radiallahu ta'ala an. And he said that that meant the white thread of the day and the black thread of the night. How do we know? Is this evidence for what we're talking about? Because the Prophet ﷺ didn't order the, that Sahaba عنه, to make up his fast. He did that by a mistake. So it lets us know if you make a mistake, you didn't intend to break your fast, it was a mistake, a real mistake, then your fast is still okay. The second principle here that we want to look at, and you kum dhakirin, wa dhakir al-diduhu nisyan, fa men tanawala shay min muftarat nasiyan, fa siyamahu sahih. So this is what we were talking about, wa huwa qul akthara ahla ilm. So most of the scholars agree with this, that if you make uh, a mistake, so again, you have to be remembering that you're fasting. And we already talked about if someone comes to you and he has a donut and he says, Abdurrahman, what's the hukum? I ate, I ate a piece of donut. I totally forgot. You say his fat, your fasting is sahih because you forgot. You, you weren't vacated. You were nasian, meaning you forgot. So that lets us know that, <clears throat> that, uh, that the fast is so sahih. And from the Quran, the evidence for this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَكِنْ 
وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخُذُكُمْ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah and that however they are held you are you are held accountable for that which you earn in your hearts and forgetting forgetting something is not earning in the heart earning in your heart it means that you did it on purpose you did a sin or you did something where you get a reward on purpose but since you forgot your excuse so the first two things we mentioned the first thing we said if a person forgets or if a person is ignorant of the ruling, they're not held accountable. So here's the third thing here. Also, there's Dalil in the Sunnah, and we'll, we'll mention the Dalil in the, from the Sunnah. It's very important, because this is a very important hadith. On Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, Man nasiya wa huwa sa'in fa akla o shariba fa liyatim sawmuhu fa innama it'amuhu Allah wa saqahu. Beautiful hadith. This hadith of Abu Hurairah. He said that the message of Allah said, Whoever forgets and he's fasting. So now we have a sarih, no doubt about this. Whoever forgets and they're fasting while he's fasting, and he eats and he drinks, then he should complete his fasting because verily Allah had fed him or gave him drink. Gave him drink. Letting us know that if you forget while you're fasting, then your fast is sahih. Can you hand me that tissue there? Right there, next to the... Yeah. So, letting us know that a person who does it forgetting for, out of forgetfulness, breaks their fast, their fasting is sahih. So again, if they, they're ignorant, or they do it out of forgetfulness, their fast is sahih. So if one of your friends asks you about their fast, and they forgot, or they didn't, they didn't even know, totally, you say, hey, you're fast as sahih. Okay? Those are two conditions. So far, here's the last one, and then we'll finish. And the last thing, الثالث, أن يكون قاسد مختار فمن حصل له شيء من المفترات من المفترات بلا, uh, بلا قصد فصوم صحيح. So this is very important. ولا إثم عليه. So here, that if a person, a person has to have intention, to break their fast, okay? And they have to have the choice. That means they're not forced. Like, for example, uh, we have brothers who are in, who are in prison in Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay who are in prison. They're held against their will. Or people in other prisons that are Muslim or whatever. They didn't have the choice. Sometimes maybe they're forced to eat or they're forced uh, against their will regarding fasting. They're not, they don't get a sin for that. Because they didn't have a choice. If they, if they refuse, maybe they will be killed. Maybe they'll be tortured. Maybe they're being tortured. Like right now in Guantan Guantanamo Bay, they're torturing some of the, the, the Muslim, their Muslim prisoners because they're force feeding them. They don't want to eat. And they're forcing them. So they're putting a tube in their nose and it goes all the way up into here and it causes a lot of pain. Okay? So those brothers are forced. May Allah have mercy upon them and guide them and forgive them. And... So, they're being forced against their will. Then they don't get a sin. No sin because they're forced. Because they didn't mean to break their fast if they were fasting. That's the example if they were fasting. Okay? So, if a person is forced to break his fast, someone holds a gun to him, and he said, break your fast right now. And you broke your fast, you were forced because he was going to kill you if he didn't break your fast. Okay? So, in that situation, if you're being forced, you're not, there's no sin on you. If you broke your fast. And also, if you, uh, there's no sin upon you. And if you, you didn't, you didn't have the intention to break your fast. So, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَكِنْ مَا تَعَمَّدَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غُفُورُ رَحِيمٌ However, and Allah says, and however, that which you had made intention in your hearts, then and verily Allah is the all-forgiving, all merciful. And then from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and the Nabiya Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam aqal wudiya an ummati al-khata wa nisyan wa ma astukrihu alayhi. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he said that my ummah has been excused for the mistakes that they've made and 
doing things out of forgetfulness and those things which they were forced to do. That they were excused. Letting us know that what? If you forget or you're ignorant or you uh, ignorant of the hukum, of the ruling, or someone forces you, you didn't intend to break your fast, your fast is sahih. So that's very important to let us know those three things. The first thing is making sure that the person has knowledge, even if they eat or drink, that they have knowledge of the hukum. Number two, the, the, the thing is that not only knowledge, is that they did it intentionally. Okay? And they didn't do it out of forgetfulness. And the third is that they weren't forced. They weren't forced or some of those are kind of mixed together. But that lets us know that those are the conditions for making a ruling regarding someone's fast. So that's very important. In the law, we keep that with us so that way we know regarding our fast and other people's fast in case they have a question. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.